This movie is rated parental guidance recommended. Some viewers may find this movie distressing owing to nudity and some adult concepts. This e-movie acknowledges it is being played on the e-country of the Wurundjeri and Boonarong peoples of the Kulin Nation. We pay our e-respects to their elders past and emerging. by the wine and the excitement, the dear old gentleman fell asleep. He dreamt that he was back in the 1960s as a young man interviewing, in this case, uh, the Minister for Aborigines, Mr. Wentworth. Here's another interview. I don't know who it is, but I've got some competition there, but my shorthand will win the day. Thank you. I did intend to have a career as a wool classer. Uh, you can see me on the right there, but I was allergic to sheep. This is a historic photograph of the original crowd at BRW 1981. I'm uh, down the back somewhere. Ross Greenwood is at the far rear. Bob Gottliebson's on the right. And the portrait at the back is the legendary age editor, Graham Perkin. I, know what's I had another career as a barrister, but if you want free legal advice, don't ask me for it. Here's the full cover. It actually says, do you want a cheap lawyer? This brings me to my 70th birthday party uh, invitation. And you can see from there that uh, at that age, I had the body of a Greek god. That brings me to my 80th birthday and I must say that uh, there was unfortunately some gold diggers attracted uh, to the event and uh, I did my best to resist this particular lady while Margaret was preparing food in the kitchen. Unfortunately uh, the lady and I failed to maintain social distancing and we were arrested and I was uh, put in the paddy wagon and uh, strip searched. Like most felons, I wanted to cover my face uh, to preserve my reputation, but it was simply impossible there. I just had to wear the ignominy. The trauma was so great that I woke myself up and found I was back in my virus-riddled cottage at Nidri. I resolved to turn over a new leaf and lead a better life according to this creed. I dream of a better world where chickens can cross the road without having their motives questioned. That's all and thank you for being a wonderful audience. Oh bloody hell, I've spent enough bloody time on this thing. I'm sick of it.